this is Natalie Jean. Do you want to get warm? Well, Midwest, you come on out to page seven in Wizard and the Bruiser Live this week. We will be in Chicago. We will be in Pontiac. We'll be in Milwaukee. That is January 9th, 10th, and 11th. We want to see you. We want to squeeze you. We want you to feel the heat coming from us. Come out, get some warm, toasty toes with us at lastpodcastnetwork.com backslash P7 Live. So see us then. It is 9th, 10th, and 11th, Chicago, Pontiac, Milwaukee, page 7, Wizard and the Bruiser Live. I love you. Two, three, four. so big and I was so small your voice was always the loudest of all January gloom January gloom January gloom January gloom we're in January gloom guys it's after the holidays it's post holidays I can't be defeated right yeah I don't feel Is it, was I it, don't feel gloomy this year yeah. Well, you have a little baby. You're running around your apartment catching mice like a well. That's kind of madman. That's kind of gloomy. Yeah, I will say. Was it January gloom or February? No, it was January. January. Yeah. yeah, just because it's after the holidays yeah. and blah blah blah. Everything slows down. Well, the holidays were like packed into each other this year. Yeah, same. Like you sausage. Just don't realize you yes. don't realize as soon as Thanksgiving was over, you were eating almost the same kind of food for Christmas. Uh, that's every year though. Leftovers. You'd... No, but like. Thanksgiving was particularly late this year. Oh, oh, oh. In the day? Oh. No, it's usually the, the season. same time. It was Marla's whenever, birthday whenever today. Alice's, on Thanksgiving whenever, as well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. happy birthday. Well, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Marla. Yeah, she, she thanks you. She's outside there, probably watching reality TV. Well, that's her That's her jammy jam, man. That's her jam, man. That is her jam. Um, Much like the mice enjoy the jam that sits out on the counter of my... What? Why, are you, Why do you leave food out on the counter? Jam, specifically. I was just trying to segue jam. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Regular food, they eat through things, man. They're hungry ass. They're that's their j- January gloom, too. They're like, fuck, it's cold. Yeah, pack it on. There's no, mon- there's no money in the, in the, in the reserve tank. I'm, I'm out of here. The mice say that. The mice say that. Because there's they, no money in the reserve, in the reserve tank. tank. Yeah. Mice, mice say that. Yeah, yes. mice say that. Don't they, have little, that. don't they have little small mouse cigar boxes yes. that they yeah. check for? And little I mean, small mouse cigars. Guys, but you know what the... I've, re- I've watched Tales of Despero. I've watched Ratatouille. I've even watched Fievel. Goes West or... Oh, well, both of them, okay. in fact. Classic And ladies. so you can tell that, you know, they do... They, they have families. They've got, you know, baggage, literally and figuratively. Yeah. And all of that stuff. What about both kinds? Here's what I always like to to say when I'm around mice. Welcome to the Adventures of Danny Mike. To my right, Mr. Michael C. Morona is rolling his eyes That's, at that segue. You can call me Mickey. And to his right, Mr. Danny Tamborelli. Call him Minnie. And my name is Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this mini sode. This mouse mini. This mini mouse themed yeah. episode. Yeah, I don't want it to be mini mouse themed, but. In the last 48 hours, I have seen multiple mice. You've been attacked. One was up on the dining room table. Rearing its paws. Just hanging out, and my wife was sitting there, and she didn't see it, and then she saw it and freaked out and jumped on top of the the chair, and it was a tiny little mouse, and it was scared, and it went hiding in the corner. I had to grab a box, and I shoot it into a box. I love gender roles. I took it outside, and I knocked it. I knocked it outside, and not... Four hours later, I see another mouse that's slightly bigger than the other one. And driving an Uber. <laughs> a small yeah. little red car. Dri- driving, a- <laughs> making money, I card came, service. Yeah. I yeah. came to Brooklyn with 50 pieces of cheese. Yep. That's all I had. That's all I had. That you could. That, that, uh, let's make that your read for uh, Five Old Goes East, maybe, the, the, the third movie in the franchise. Uh. So uh, he is no, available. There's not going to be a third movie in that franchise. East Side Five in, all got in run my, over. In my franchise in my apartment because they're all going down now. Yeah. Well, I tried unless you to be want... nice. I tried to be nice and, and shoo them out. And now I'm pissed. I... I'm only pissed because my wife's pissed because she's so terrified of them and You're thinks only... that they're bringing the black plague into the house with the baby. You're only pissed because your wife's pissed because your wife's allergic to cats, so you can't have one. Well, and that is accurate as well. Oh. I would not mind having a cat because I do love cats. And dogs, but I love cats. Too. I have yeah, never, just... I've never had a dog. 
I don't think I'm ready to now. Dogs are great. Would G like a dog? Of course he would. He's he's a big fan? Yeah, G likes the cat that his mom has, even though he's a little too huggy at times. The cat. It's, no. No, G. <laughs> oh. Who do you think between between a three year old and a cat, who do you think is more into hug? Yeah. Listen, I don't I've seen a lot of cats on the internet, you know what I mean? They hug, uh, they they embrace they right. kiss. You only you only see the camera shot when it's turned on. Yeah. After yeah. that huggy cat is huggy, it's scratchy and bitey. Behind mm. the scenes, mm. yeah. Yeah. It's a little okay. different story. That's why I don't mess with cats, just dogs. Just one dog in my life, and her name's Muppet. And she just left. She was here for the last four days, so I uh, co share dog. Yeah, co- you, the timeshare. Using you like an old dish rag and just throwing you to the side. That's right. She's done. That's right. How does it feel, and, Jeremy? And it, ta- it takes three days for the dog to settle in, in here bed, yeah. and actually eat. Because, you know, Muppet seems to like come here and just do a just go on a hunger strike for mm-hmm. like two days. Because I cause hope Corinne's not mommy, listening to this. Oh, she, she knows. Mommy. She puts she protests. That's she what protests, she does. Yeah. And then as soon as she gets comfortable, it's bye, time, bye, bye. It's time to go back. <laughs> yeah. She's gotten it down to a day. It takes a day to get over her, her fields. It's like me traveling to Japan. Oh, yeah. 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 Each time you got to get over yeah. it. If you travel very far, you should just plan for gastrointestinal problems. Ugh. Just factor it in and then you won't be surprised. It's that airport dog sushi. Um, or cat sushi. What? Yeah. Or cat sushi. Okay, so. Gerard got, um, in the theme of play kitchens, Gerard got some toy sushi for Christmas. I think maybe from mom. Whoa. Maybe from Aunt Claire. Uh, yeah. There's like a wooden block of rice with uh, Velcro on top. And then the shrimp has Velcro and the salmon has Velcro. That's awesome. I think the avocado has Velcro And does too. he roll it? He doesn't roll it. I mean, I didn't know if it had like a thing where it a made mat, it. that yeah. would be funny. Of course. Yeah. No, I think he just attaches it and then, you know, serves it to it's us. Just a sh- it's just sushi. It's, it's just sashimi. It's sushi. It's sushi. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I, uh, I was imagining like some sort of, you know, I'm an ideas guy. You know what I mean? Look Is that me. what you are? Yeah. How could you not know that yet uh, by now? I'm looking at I'm you. an ideas guy. Follow through, not so much, but ideas. I got a lot of them. Yeah. Um, what else is going on, fellas, other than being not gloomy in I'm January not, yeah, for the first sorry, time in a not, long time? I'm not gloomy. I'm not gloomy. Yeah. I missed a couple of days of med, so I'm. it's going to hit me here, now, here shortly. I was thinking about going off my medication. Actually. Really? Yeah. Let's talk about that. I just want normal erections. Is that true? It's yeah, all... I don't know. It's all left up? What do you mean? What do you mean? You just said you have... Irregular erections when you're on drugs. No, I just said I want normal ones, <laughs> not ones that do. How are how are they? <laughs> They're just are they completely normal, sideways like... instead yeah, of straight. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. I just like I, I I know SSRIs affect you boners. So yes, I'll just I'll blame it on that. Yeah, <laughs> please. And then I'll go off. You know, I'll go off. You're gonna try. What, I don't know. Yeah. This was just a thing, you know, because I was thinking about gloomy January. I'm feeling good. Uh huh. How could I fuck this up? Right. Let's go off meds. No, I don't think that's what you're thinking. But um, I've thought about that too. But I, I don't think I. I've always I was always going to adjust in the winter and have a little more in the winter and a little less in the summer because there's. You Can know, you do that? Yeah. Yeah. You you could get like you, a, you, could, like you could get like yeah. forty milligrams in the summer and then twenty in the winter. Just cut back and just kind of as long as you meet in the middle. Interesting. And I'm at, I'm at 50, so I might... Are you at 50? Yeah. Are you at, not to 50! Go down to 30. I really don't rock a lot of Princess Bride references, but well, please not, do. not to 50 is probably my favorite one. Yeah. My six-year-old nephew is obsessed with that movie now. Okay. And just every time I'm over at my parents' house and, and he's there, like that is on TV. Wow. And I find it just hilarious. Because he's six. I mean, yeah. like some of that's a little like... Yeah, a yeah. little advanced. Well, we knew, a little advanced for him. And well, I we knew tell... Andre the Giant at the time from contacts. You know what I mean? We <laughs> yes. had contacts. Yeah. Yes. Not yeah, a lot of actually the other. Actually, I had to explain to him that he was a professional wrestler. Right. We, not a lot of the other performers. You don't really have that unless you were. He didn't care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was not into wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> you just like to say the line, you know. Candy Campbell Lily. Oh, no. no, no that's no, a different no. line. No, okay. Sorry. My uh, name is, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Slim no, Shady. Don't, don't do it. Yeah. Um, well, that's that's something. The uh, If you're out there 
and you're struggling, give us a call. 347-470-8150. If you think... Leave a voicemail message and we'll get back to you. If you you think antidepressants affect your boners, let us know at 347-470-8150. yeah, we'll we'll it'll hit us up on the socials. We'll we're we're here to talk. Mike is on there every day. I'm uh, presuming still you're still tweeting, still uh, occasionally replying. And then we'll we do the Instagram. So if uh, Facebook, if you guys have any, uh, want to give channels. anybody some visual clues? Yeah, you can do that. It's it's good though. I hope that that. I mean, I don't know why we're feeling good with all this Iran stuff and all the. It makes no sense, but I'm I feel hopeful. It sounds like you feel hopeful, Danny. You're always hopeful. I didn't say I, I wasn't. Hopeful. I'm not. I'm. I. I take my feelings and shove them down a, inside. No. 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 I take my feelings right now about like January and usually feeling crappy and feeling good, even though I'm a little sick. But I'm not talking about Iran and all that shit. That's uh-huh. a completely. That is. That doesn't affect my date. That that is like something else to me. Yes. Like I don't. I'm trying very hard to have those in separate boxes. Like right. My life is one thing and what's going on in the world is another thing. Not not to not think about it, but right. just I have to... Because otherwise I it's have like, to compartmentalize yeah. it or else I will... Doesn't Alfie read the paper? Constantly <laughs> gloomy. Doesn't yeah. Alfie read the paper, though? No. You can't but, hide it from him forever. No, no, that's true. I'm not, you know, he's six months old. He's doing a lot of ab 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 So, you know, the, I guess I could be speaking to him sooner than later. You could be getting him a Fox News slot. It could be <laughs> it sounds like Iranian, you know what I mean? He, he could be he, speaking. He shits his pants at the slightest provocation. He would be a great Fox News guest. So. <laughs> uh, I did get it. He did get his first cold. Oh, and oh! You so never forget your I first am, cold. Literally, I am sick. We've all been sick. I've never had that happen before. I've been in. I've lived with other people in apartments for a long time. When people get sick, hitting stick, the hitting stick caught hitting a cold. Stick oh, caught yeah. a cold. I never caught a cold. Yeah, he'd always, always <laughs> during football season, so it's the cold. Stick, yeah. yeah, but I don't really remember like going through like my family when one of us would get sick, then everyone would get sick. Maybe my parents were just good at like mm. hiding that shit, arresting the norovirus. But I got fucked. Bad. I don't know if you can hear it in my. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Definitely. Easy, buddy. Is it gone though? Are you gonna infect us? No, no, no. It's it's been. It, this is like this is day six. It's almost done. Okay, good. It's Are gotta, you? It's got to be done. Are you? It doesn't days. come back around. I mean, he got snotty because Kate's friends came over with their little kid, who's around the same age, who goes to daycare, who they didn't say was snotty, and like they're like, hey, hold the baby. I went to hold the baby. And it was just like snot oozing out of his nose, mm. and I was like, "Fuck!" That sounds like a garbage pail kid. It really was. It looked like he looked like a garbage pail kid, <laughs> and I, I didn't know what to do. So I took my my jacket off. I took my shirt off. And I, I wiped. Changed. I wiped all the snot off with my jacket. No, I like. I just. I I made sure that as soon as I gave him back, I like changed clothes. I washed my hands. You went into like, the Fuck. clean room. They have a clean room. I don't want to get sick. Which is nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Then they're like, let's Sanitized. take a, let's take a cute picture in a little video and, and the like kid put them next to me. each other. And they're like grabbing at each other and holding each other's hands and sticking their hands in them. And I was just like, just watching this happen. And I was. I've never felt this way before. Mm. And I was just like. Oh my God! It's there's happening. So it's much going. Shit. In, in low, it like zoomed into an extreme uh, close up of just like the snot. Picture, <laughs> the picture was the, the, a slow zoom. They were not like thirty seconds finished from like taking this little photo shoot that I had already grabbed First like wipes, sneeze. and I was like wiping his hands down in front of them. I didn't even care. I was just like, you guys didn't even say that your kid was sick. Like, yeah, bullshit. So did you put I hope their kid? Not a did you put? Oh, their- I, they, well, the, I'm going to see them on Saturday. I'm going to give them. A, I'm going to give them a message. Say dinner's on you. I mean, did you put their kids in quarantine after that, or, or your kid in quarantine? No, after I that? just cl- I try to like clean them off, but I might like Kate didn't necessarily do all the uh, proactive things that so I did. Hoof and mouth disease. They would make people like walk across disinfectant. You know what I mean in England because they were having to kill, uh-huh. they have to kill all the cows yeah. and bulls and stuff. So, mm-hmm. They're just killing them all. So when Gerard got hand and mouth disease, I was wondering if we had to drag mm-hmm. hand stands. I just wondering if we had to drag he, him just through, walk through disinfectant. Yeah, cr- crawl through disinfectant. Well, yeah. or Listen, something you're young, watching. but you're gonna have to learn to handstand through this shit. <laughs> Hands down. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, as, or as I like to say, grab the Purell. Yes. Well, is that's that- the, and that's the thing too. Like we go to so many conventions and we meet a ton of people. And like I'm not a germaphobe, but I'm constantly using Purell. I think the German people are just like, fine. I don't want to <laughs> catch catch anything. 
And just one time that I'm like, oh, this is going to, he's going to yeah. get sick. Bam, he got sick, coughed on me, probably with my mouth up, you know, like something happened. Is he acting know. into your mouth? He spit in your no, mouth? No, you know, sometimes, sometimes is he, the he WWE, starts, yeah, uh, like sneeze in my face, and who, I don't know, maybe sometimes. Who, me? I'm, no, Alfred. A big fan? No, not a big fan. Has it ever happened at a convention? Like you, you'd stay oh, there for no, a picture no, but I have seen people. Somebody sneezes uh, right I've into seen your people, mouth? No, 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 no. Oh. No, but I have seen people like be snotty and like rubbing their face and then want to fucking shake my hand. And I'm like, uh, elbow bump. Uh, yeah. yeah. The elbow of friendship pops out. That was uh, George Raft, right? That's right. Yeah. Smart guy. <laughs> elbow of friendship. Good guy. Uh, A lot of people. Yeah, not, not my, uh, knock me down. Not your didn't, healthiest. Didn't really, didn't really fuck it up, but it fucked me up. Not your really? healthiest hour. Oh, dude. Like Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, I was like down. For the like listener, those are days previous to today. Yes, that is true. Uh, did you make chicken soup, or did Kate make you chicken soup? I had some chicken soup. Is that your go-to, your sick go-to? Does Sally send you chicken soup? No, my, actually, my sick go-to soup is hot and sour soup. Really? Mulligatawny yeah. mulligaton, for oh, me. Oh, mulligatawny is fucking the mulligatawny jam. Mulligatawny for me. But, uh, you know, I always make chicken noodle soup with, you know, like the fake bouillon Chicken or whatever. That's my go-to. And Gatorade. Always have to have Gatorade. And no, two specific kinds. Soup? No. That's weird. <laughs> Either the lemon lime Frost. or the red, and that's it. Uh, that's all I like. Oh, I threw up both of those last time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> last time I got sick. Uh, we did make chicken soup, though, and we have Kate's parents always go to Shady Maple, and they come back with meats for me. A carcass? Oh, they come back with all... No, they have these, like, footballs. It's like these smoked chicken footballs. Basically, what they look like, they're like it's just like the big breast, a ball of chicken, and it's been smoked on the outside. So then it's like it's kind of like skinned and brown on the outside. It's delicious. Do you guys run it like anyway? A we take back it. No, we just kitchen? take it and we chop it into Tuck sixteen it. pieces and we put it in vegetable broth and just let it sit for a long time. It just kind of mm. falls apart. It's delicious. You're, you're that reverse, helps as well. You're reverse engineering. Chicken soup backwards from a yeah from uh-huh. a smoked chicken yeah yeah from a smoked chicken back into the soup mm-hmm. it's actually very good you got it from Shady Mapes shout out shout out to Shady Mapes is that true what's that that's, that's where it is Shady oh, that's Mapes? where it came from oh yeah. nice yeah. have you worn your sh- uh, sweatshirt yet or no gift, I'm gonna I'm gonna you? wash it in the uh, washing machine I careful would wa- I would wash it because the people that go to Shady Maple and they might be touching <laughs> stuff and been eating I other couldn't things. see I couldn't see through the sweatshirt so they couldn't have been touched by people <laughs> from Shady Maple. <laughs> Um, I had something weird happen at work uh, yesterday that we were shooting at the uh, hospital on like 90th and 1st, you know, that the the hospital, Mm -hmm. you go down the ramp into the thing. 99th. Yeah. 99th. There you go. Uh, so we're in there working location guy opened up this door and he's like, you guys should go take a look. And there was a door. It was just a room. It was a morgue. We're shooting in the morgue, Uh, which was creepy in itself. That's a bit of a tip off. Huh? Yeah. Um, so we were like, oh, that's weird. You know, what, what is, what's oh, the deal? Adore. Because they went on the scout and they looked. So they knew all the big, big wigs knew what was in there. So we went in there, shelves, old shelves. It looked like a bomb shelter from the 50s. And on these shelves. It's a non functioning. Oh, it's hospital? functioning. It's yeah. a working uh, hospital, yeah. but just not this part of it. Yeah. Must have not had dead bodies that day or something. They took them. I don't know what happened. The murder uh, business was slow. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we went in this room. I'm surprised you've never done this, unless it sounds familiar. But Is it ritual murder? No, I just go in this room, and it's like the murder museum. It's like there's six great metal shelves, and there's little jars of, like, brains and, like, uh, I don't know, pieces of flesh and stuff. And then you look over to this other shelf. And it says Muggsy Bogues. Babies. Oh. Just babies in jars. So there's, like, a twin baby with hair on the head and they're in a jar and there's like these two babies that had Zika. So their heads didn't develop. So they just look like fully form for the Patreon. For the listener, Jeremy's yeah. making a face. Um, uh, so yeah, that was just a weird thing, but they, uh, and one of them said it was the twins were from 1952. They look great for being 68 years old, but they like took fishing wire and they would like hang them in the jar. So they would like be standing up like this. It was, it was terrifying, but I don't, I guess I don't know why you keep that shit for all those years in a, in a room that might've been some specific. If you do case, if yeah. you do taxidermy, but for fetuses, let us know at three, three four, four, seven, four, four, seven, seven, zero, eight, eight one, five, five, zero. And we will not call the police on you. No, no, that's in, that's interesting because you wonder. I wonder, you know, who you're just does asking stuff. for a pathologist to call in right now. Is that what you're asking? It's podcaster patient rights. So <laughs> they have we have that's we have that in our side. Anyway, it was just weird. It was like a trip back to the motor museum, and uh, 
but that, without the Philly pretzels. Yes. And Ugh. without the Jesus Christ pose. Yes. And without the uh, the Pete Steiner. No. Little Pete's is Little gone. Pete's is gone. I wish you could have gotten that sign and we could throw it on this wall in here or something. But. And then you would have gotten rid of, it, rid of it when you wanted to make room. <laughs> no. No. Not if it's on the wall. Yeah. For oh, the, yeah. For the listener, for the we listener. walked in today and yeah. there's like... Jeremy is the, half of the sidewalk outside his, uh, of his apartment just taken up with garbage. I was. It's not garbage. It's, it's not quite. It's it's uh, it's, it's another not man's, quite. It's not quite it's, garbage. It's, it's one step from garbage. It's one step away from. Yeah. It's definitely another man's treasure. How about it that? It's another yeah. man's yeah. treasure. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna I was gonna comment, Jeremy, actually, that in my walk from the train station, typically on a typical day, I'll encounter at least five finds. Yes. In my trip. And I was almost shut out completely until I got to right in front of your sidewalk. Which Not an accident. Really yeah. made up for everything. That's why they're out there. Just for you. Uh, I saw you, you grabbed, uh, there's some DVDs out there. If anybody wants season one of the OC, season two of the OC, the full set. It's out there. Um, wow. If you if you two are looking at just <laughs> that Chris McCall. <laughs> Stop by the outside of Seltzer King Studios. Uh, you can just figure out where that is. Uh, Mike, please don't tell them. Uh, it's what else? Three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. Let go. us know when you find us. Um. So yeah, dead babies in jars. That was weird. Uh, you've been sick. January gloom. I've I mean, been positive. I mean, we've, we've That's a mini story right there. We've covered most uh, most I've, things. I've been positive. Good. I got in a car crash months ag- months oh. ago. Oh yeah. Okay. Rear-ended a young lady in uh-huh. uh, in New Jersey, and then I p- proceeded to drive around with a fucked up car for a long time, just feeling like I was invincible. <laughs> And uh, then I just got the car fixed. Hmm. So it looks better now. So you're good as new. Gosh, I'm glad you you mentioned that. I remembered that uh, the day before New Year's, somebody clipped the Jetta on the driver's side and broke the mirror, the side of your mirror. For, for the listener, Danny's talking about his wife's car. 1994? 2002. It smells like crayons. 2002 like crayons. VW Jetta. It smells like crayons. It does smell like crayons. Right. If you... Remember more than one a person, Volkswagen more than one Jetta person agrees that smells like crayons. In, call us at three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero with the and spelled out. Uh, That's somewhat so correct. it it busted and it's going to cost a decent amount of money to fix it. And I don't feel like doing it, bro. You so want to take it to Marlin? So look, I got I the guy. Was, I got a good guy. If you got a good guy, that's yeah. great. Yeah, I put some duct tape on it because it's a silver car, so it doesn't really nice. look that messed up, and it still was down a little bit. So you know what I did, gentlemen. Bought myself, went to the corner store, bought myself a Topo Chico, drank that shit, put the bottle cap in between, and it's up just enough <sighs> that it's like perfect at level for me to see my side view mirror. So my my side view mirror it's is held fixed. up with a shim. It's is fixed and it's fixed with it's a shimmed. Topo Chico bottle it's cap. It's shimmed wow. with a bottle cap. That's not bad. That's, I just that's thought a... I, I would like had a moment where I was like, Yeah, fuck you, MacGyver. I can help you put that on. You don't have to go to the to the mechanic there and spend money. Fix your car, or, guy. Or, or order that shit on e- uh, cra- uh, eBay. Well, everything. Craig wa- no, the thing is, I'm gonna have to get a whole new case and everything yeah. for it. But it still works. Look like, on eBay. Uh, all of the something. all the electronics in there still works on it. They basically do it just yeah. busted the, case, the, the outside. Thanks for like, tuning yeah. in to Danny and Mike's this old the car. car. <laughs> or, uh, for this week, our sponsors are Delco. That's right, and Pep Boys. Pep Boys, yes. <laughs> the Home ones of... with the huge heads. Yes, exactly. Um. All right, well, before we go, uh, let's shout out some shows that were just announced. April Fool's show, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, April Fool's in uh, Philadelphia. Speaking yes, of Philadelphia, right. we're gonna maybe we'll go back to the Mother Museum. I don't know. I would maybe do we'll that. get some more Muggsy pretzels. Mugsy Bogues. Mugsy Bogues. Mugsy Bogues. That was the first thing I thought of when I went in there. Um, I thought that those babies were several of those would make a Mugsy Bogues. I just saw Toby Huss at work, and he mentioned that he and his daughter had been to the just been to the Muter oh, oh, really? last <laughs> week. Yeah, nice. they went to took a trip to Philly and. Well, he said it was a little sick. Well, we want you guys yes. to take your trip down to Philly too, and we promise we won't make you sick. It's no. at the Ard- Ardmore Music Hall in Philly. Ardmore Music Hall on April April Fool's, Fool's, Fool's Day, Day. April first, twenty twenty. First of April, twenty twenty, and then followed by April second <laughs> in Boston yeah, the at suspense, the Hard Rock Cafe. The suspense was killing me. Yeah. Yeah. They just said on April second we're going to be in Boston at the Hard Rock Live. That's right. The Hard Rock Live is that different from the Hard Rock Cafe? No, it's the Hard Rock Cafe. Live. Yeah. I mean, just Live. it's the Live Hard Rock. Rock. Yeah, you yeah. can find it. Just look for the guitars. Um, what about the we're car not sticking steal, out? Of the, we're not going to steal any car. Uh, like maybe car maybe we'll sticking cars. out of the. Oh uh, no, that's like Chili's. One of those Mexican spots have. Oh no, that's Tet. 
Well, the cab, cab company. Cab? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cab cafe. Um, also, check us out uh, all next week. We start um, a leg with Lori Beth for the All That edition. Um, we're going to be in San Diego, Long Beach, L.A., Fresno, San Francisco, and so much more the coming co- in the and very near future. The college football tryout circuit. That's right. That's exactly right. That's right. Look, yeah. I can still be a kicker, man. I've always wanted to be a kicker. You guys both have foreign sounding names. That's true. Mm. That makes it. Janikowski. <laughs> yeah. I made the practice squad at 38 with my good I, leg. That would be amazing. <laughs> and you get tackled once I and that's your career. Good leg. I, I packed, I packed yeah. everything into my one good leg <laughs> and I made it. Actually, there was a feel good story about that. Remember the guy who went to like Jets camp? Did he get on the team? I don't know. Yeah. I should, uh, we'll, we'll I should have been up. more prepared. Anyway, yeah, thanks okay. for listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Check us out on the Last Podcast Network. Uh, for ticket links, go to nostalgiapersonified.com. Check us out on the Last Podcast Network, lastpodcastnetwork.com. Also, check uh, give us a shout-out on our voice, voicemail, 347-470-8150. And what else, gents? DannyMike.com um, with were, the end spelled out. There you go. If you were to audition for Micro Machines commercials, you would have not gotten it. Uh, you never know. Uh, <laughs> would have lost. Cause, 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 yeah, I can't do it. I just I try to fit everything in, you know. Sometimes oh, you do a really good job. I'm really proud of you. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Bye. Uh, before we go, you can find this guy at Michael C. Morono on the Twitters. You can find Danny at D Tamborelli or at Danny Tamborelli on the Instas. I'm at Jeremy Balin on the Insta at Remy Balin on other things. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. This has been an update. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Morono. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Balin. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.